Come in. Come in. Welcome. Welcome. It's me and my crystal ball that I'm reading tonight. It's saying right now that you're going to be watching another webisode of Galui's Moon Food real soon. Wait. It's saying something else. It's saying that we're going to tempt your taste buds. Welcome to another webisode of Galui's Mood Food. Today, we are going to do for you a little Galui's street food, okay? We're doing dogs, and we're doing, well, Galui dogs, and we're doing Galui's baked beans. But I want to let you know the two things that we started preemptively, and I will show them to you, and you do these, um, like, 30 minutes to an hour ahead of time because the longer they sit the better they get uh, we got two different toppings for the dogs we got kraut here okay this kraut's been on a while it's gotten to a nice light golden brown and it's been cooking probably I would say roughly about 45 minutes or so um, what you got in there? Well, what is in here is the good stuff always. And you can count on us for this. In the crowd, we have beer. And we just have salt and pepper to taste. But you keep adding the beer. And it's low and slow. And you keep it covered. And then you uncover it for a little while to let the rest of the beer kind of cook into the kraut. So it's, it, it picks up the flavor, but um, it's, it's not going to hurt anybody. You're not going to turn into any kind of an alcoholic or anything of that nature. You know, you're not, you're, you're, it's, it's kid friendly. Okay. Uh, the other one we have here. This is absolutely gorgeous right here. Check that out. It is our chili sauce for our dogs, okay? In here, I'm just gonna run down the ingredients for you, and it's been cooking probably just as long as the crowd has, and we didn't wanna kinda bore you with, you know, watching everything cook. But it's ground chuck, it is white onion, yeah I'm looking at my little cheat sheet, it's onion and garlic powder, it's tomato paste, and again there's beer in here, you can't beat it, you know what I'm saying, hey, there you go, right there, this one's for the cook, um, there's ketchup in here, there's salt to taste, and then we used a pack of um, a chili mix, chili powder, okay, the chili mix. Uh, low sodium, okay, go low sodium because you don't want it too salty. If you need to add salt, you can. If you don't, you don't then, okay. Um, what we're going to do next for you, since we got the Galui's kraut for the topping and we got the Galui's chili for the topping, we are going to show you Galui's baked beans. So stay tuned and you need to watch this one because we jack them up. All right? I mean, we seriously jack them up. So don't go anywhere. Come right back to us. We'll be back in just a minute, okay? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Galui's Street Food. 
okay? Um, got a pen right here. Told you you didn't want to miss this one here. This is the Galoui's Baked Beans, all right? I got the pan on here already. I got the heat. I just cut them on to about medium, a little over medium, all right? Depending on your oven. But we have one link of mild Italian sausage, okay? Hands are washed. Um, we have <laughs> about a cup of ground chuck right here. Well, it is a cup of ground chuck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this link, and we took the casing off of it. Very important, take the casing off. But you're just gonna break that up into pieces, like I'm doing right now. I can hear the sizzle. You don't want them too tiny, but you don't want like the whole length going on there at once, you know. So we're gonna do the link of mild Italian sausage. And here's our cup of ground chuck. I'm just gonna break that up a little bit. I'm gonna put that right in at the same time. These are the Louis baked beans. Hey, you gotta come up with some flavor somehow. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and do its thing for a minute here. And it needs to get a little bit brown. So I'm gonna put it on about medium heat and we will be right back and I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, stay tuned. If you're watching the Blue's Blue Food and the Street Food. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Blue's Street Food. We're doing the baked beans right now. We have the sausage in here and we had already told you about that we had taken the casing off of it. It's a mild, one link of sausage, mild. And we have, um, the ground chuck in here with it. It's one cup of ground chuck. It's been cooking about four or five minutes right now. So to this beautifulness, I can hear the sizzling happening. To this, we are going to add one half of a cup, or I'm sorry, yeah, one half a cup. Oh, well, I'm not sorry. Oh, so there, oh, 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 of white onion. And you don't have to dice this really fine because you want the, um, you want the ground chuck, you want the sausage, and you want the onions in a nice hearty fashion where they're not going to dissipate. Uh, and blend in like they would with your topping that oh, we had already mentioned for the Dissipate? Book. You've been reading a book I, again. I read a five dollar book right now. <laughs> I'm telling you straight out. So we're adding the onions to this. Oh my god if you can smell this. But you don't want this to disappear like and blend in and be all liquidy and creamy like you did the topping for the dogs that we already talked about. Do you want this a little bit chunkier? Look at that. Check that out right there. That's what you want. You want these beautiful things to stand out in the Galoui's baked beans. Alright? So we had already had the sausage and the ground chuck cooking. Put the onions in. Now what we gonna do, oh yeah, what we gonna do, I said it, I said it. You gonna get you some ketchup. And that's a new one right there. Hopefully it's open. But we're gonna do three tablespoons. Oh, did you hear that? It Excuse wasn't, me. It wasn't me. Hello. It was the cameraman. There's one, two, three tablespoons of ketchup. 
Okay. Now we're going to add the mustard and the, oh, oh, the maple syrup in just a minute, but we are going to add the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous beans in here. Yeah, I crack it on the side. I crack the cameraman too, huh? Hey! What say what? What? <laughs> Why do you think we've been working so long together? He loves it. Alright, so the beans are in there. I'm just gonna chunk that right in there. I'm going to give this a stir. We have about a medium heat. We're going to turn it down just a little bit. Not quite to a fourth. So somewhere in between a, a fourth and a half. And I promised you good things. I really did. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you. So now we're going to get some Dijon mustard. You just can't have that freaking yellow mustard. It's got to be Dijon. Do you hear me out there? I hear you. You hear me? Talk to me. Okay. In the meantime, what goes great with a dog? Beer. A beer. The beer. Had to have a swig. What it is, what it is. So we're going to do one and a half teaspoons all right, there's my one right here. That's my teaspoon right there of Dijon. And we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of Dijon. That's a pretty cool name. Oh yeah. Dijon. I think I went to school with him. I think you did too. And for me, a hair extra. <laughs> you know why? Because it's Galois street food. I can do this. And I'll give that a big old swirl in there and get that mustard off the side. But I told you our beans would be jacked up Galois style. Oh yeah, it's happening right here in front of you. I'm surprised that we're all still standing. <laughs> okay, so from here, we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of this pure maple syrup. That's right, you're adding pure maple syrup to one and a half teaspoons. All right, we're, we might go backward. There's a half teaspoon. And where's the one? There's the one right there. And that's pure, that's not the imitation maple syrup. I'm sorry folks, if you're gonna do this, imitation will not work gonna cheapen the taste. We're not cheap, we're high dollar. Well, as far as we know. Well, yeah. But we don't use cheap ingredients. I mean, you get what you can afford, but if you're gonna invest in a maple syrup, truly, if you're gonna invest in maple syrup, and you're buying the, the lower price stuff, you're going to be using two to three times more, okay? And it's going to be an artificial flavor. So go ahead and get yourself the good stuff. Pay just a few cents more on the whole thing. And it's going to take you a lot longer, a lot further. You don't need as much. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know from a girl of experience as far as the pure maple syrup goes. Just a little tip from your Zia Paula. <laughs> Yes, it is. I mean, we, we used to buy the, the other stuff. It, it just doesn't do the same thing that you needed to do. 
And when you get the pure, yeah, you may pay a little bit more for it. And, and I mean a little bit more. A little bit more. But it's well worth it in the long run because you get five to ten times more out of this maple syrup than you would something, you know, that wasn't pure. So here's our gluey's baked beans, like... Check this out. Look at the sausage. You can see the onion. You can see the ground chuck. We're just going to let this hang out for a little bit. That's going to be our side dish for our Galooey street food. And we're going to let this go probably about, since we already browned the sausage, not a tie in, and the ground chuck and we put everything else into it we're gonna let it go for a few minutes and we will be back so you better stay tuned with us because we'll find you <laughs> beef Angus dogs they are beautiful what we did here is we put some beer in them I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the temp low but we put some beer in them and we put some butter okay and we're doing these inside tonight it's because we're afraid of the crickets and the tree frogs <laughs> So we're, again, just put a pat of butter in and put some beer in them. And you get this beautiful, beautiful, look at this. Golden brown. So I'm going to shut them off for now. But our beans, Galoui's beans, are like off the freaking hook. Check this out. There's sausage in there. There's ground beef. There is onion. There is the beans. And there's all the other goodies that we put into them. That's our side dish. We are going to assemble all this good stuff for you. We are going to show you a plate full of this yumminess. And... You're watching the webisode of Galooey's Street Food. And we'll be back in just a minute, or we'll just show you. Well, we need to warm up the, um, the crowd again, and we need to warm up the chili for the chili dogs. Okay, so we'll be back in just a minute. Okay? Welcome back. We're at the end of this ep webisode. Webisode. Galooey Street Food. Look at those gorgeous baked beans. Look at the two different dogs we have. One with the crowd, one with the chili. You can't beat it. Mm. Different angle. That's it. We are going to chow down tonight. Again, you can do these on the grill. You don't have to. You can do them just like we did. Depending on the weather. <laughs> and we depend on the weather. You know? Afraid of snakes and this, that, and the other. But anyway, beans are freaking rocking. They are. So is the chili sauce on this dog and the kraut that you cook down just like the chili sauce for 45 minutes, maybe to an hour, somewhere in that vicinity. But you got a rockin' meal right here, okay? You're watching another webisode of Glowy's Mood Food. 
Stay tuned to see another one. Catch this one. It's on Galoi's Street Food. Don't forget our cookbook that's out. Don't forget the cookbook that's out. No. And get yourself your beer. I, I, I lost mine. <laughs> I got it. But, but I'm going I'm to dig into this. I don't know if the cameraman's going to get me. But take care. Love to y'all. And we're going to keep on tempting your taste buds. See you soon. Bye.